This is Lewis Arthur Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store and William Hill. Delighted to be joined with Johnny Nelson. We have just seen Chris Eubank Jr. revenge his, his defeat from January against Liam Smith. He stopped him. Just how sort of Liam Smith stopped him. Eubank Jr. gets his revenge. Just sum up that performance to me. And how sort of incredible that, that whole performance was from Eubank. Uh, you know, I think the result was, was, uh, was, was incredible. And I said to everybody, the same way you, this guy was dissed from the loss, and I'm one of the everybody, the same way we got a praise in front of the win, and the fashion of the win. Uh, the fashion of the win was he, he, he systematically, slowly but surely, eventually beat Liam Smith up. I think Liam Smith will struggle with the fashion of the loss because he lost to another domestic fighter. Um, and that's why I think he will really struggle with that. Um, for, for Chris, give credit where credit's due. Uh, showed discipline, which was needed, uh, got his act in order. Uh, Bowmax's job was to get his, uh, I don't think he could teach him anything that's a part of, uh, in that short period, apart from, you know, to, to, to give him tips, give him advice in his head to settle himself down, stick to the basics, the basics of what he knows he can do. So, again, give credit where credit's due. 90% of us didn't believe Chris could do that, and he did that. And so those 90 percent, let's not be Nostradamus and say, I knew he'd do it. We didn't. He showed that he didn't show us anything that would make us think he did do that. Um, uh, Chris believed it was uh, good fortune for, for Liam the last time the box, nobody else did. And uh, Chris proved, as far as he was concerned, that's what he was. When you talk about getting over mental sort of, you know, sort of things, like men, getting over things mentally, January, the first time he got dropped, the first time he got hurt, the first time he got stopped. The hurdle to get over that, to show that and put that performance in tonight, how much of a testament is that to Eubank's mental resilience, not just sort of the, the stoppage, but all the sort of stuff he's gone through the last two years? Yeah, so what I'm saying to you is, fighters, we are very good at lying to ourselves or, or giving ourselves excuses. So regardless of what you all see on the outside end, you know, if you can justify a loss and say it's because of this, because of that, because of this, as long as you believe it, you know, Anthony Joshua, case in point, when he lost to Uzi the first time, he thought he just did something wrong. The second time he lost to him, he'll never be the same fighter again, because, it, because now he knows. Chris thought that was just pure luck, it was a goddamn miracle. He really believed that. And, and so if he'd if it, if it, if it have lost again, that would have changed him as an individual. So, so it doesn't matter what we see from the outside, fighters that will constantly all ourselves say, nah, nah, he, you know, that was luck, you know, that, that wasn't deserved. And he turned it around. So, uh, so that's why, the, when you talk about mindset, mindset is, you know, sometimes you've got you to gotta fool yourself with information. Now you look at Eubank wanting to push on. We see Conor Ben in the crowd right, right now, that's still sort of up in the air. But there's so many options for him now. Do you think like now he's sort of the roles reversed and he's now the man in the driving seat and he can be the man that calls the shots? Without a doubt, all he had to do was keep winning. And the Conor Ben fight was probably always there, even if he lost tonight, because it was always, always a lucrative, attractive fight. But again, we've got to see where the situation is, where is it held, how is it held, you know, Conor's situation in regards to a licence, so it's, it's just time and everything. That fight will always happen. So Johnny, trying to say thank you for your time. I know it's late, but I'll appreciate it. Top man, thank you, brother.